this AMT Mac car engine is being assembled, mostly as per the instruction sheet, one of the parts is number 146, the oil filters. This part represents two separate oil filters, but it's molded as one piece. This leaves a web of plastic in between the filters, which takes away from the appearance of them being two separate items. One solution is to put a thin black wash in between the filters after painting. However, in 125th scale, it's also practical to remove the web of plastic. This can be easily done using a razor saw, cutting between the filters, being careful not to cut into the filter housing. Smooth the cut edges with fine sandpaper, and the appearance is greatly improved, as shown by comparing the modified kit part with an unmodified one on the right. Another part on the Mac engine which can benefit from this treatment is the water manifold and filter assembly, which, as the name implies, has the filter and manifold molded as one piece. A careful razor saw cut between the filter and the manifold, being careful not to cut into the housing, again improves the appearance and makes it easier to touch up paint. Modified parts are assembled to the engine, and even without paint, you can see the improvement in appearance taken away from the molded solid one-piece look. After the engine is painted, the open spaces around the filters makes it much easier to touch them up in a contrasting color and do a neat job. Lettering or manufacturer's logos are a nice finishing touch to add to the filters, and for this model, I actually used model railroad decal lettering from an HO scale freight car data set. There are a lot of useful items on this particular decal set, and it's just one example of using decals from other modeling fields for model truck applications. Engine in place, ready for additional details and some weathering. The improved appearance of the oil filters is evident here, because through the gap between them, you can see the red and black wires from the alternator, which you wouldn't be able to see otherwise if they were left as one solid block. Another example of the two-piece molded filters is some of the AMT Cummins, which have the fuel filters molded as a pair. These can benefit from the same treatment, using a razor saw to cut out the web between the filters, and cleaning up with fine sandpaper afterwards. As a last example, the seldom modeled V800, which is found in all the Ertl International kits. Again, this part benefits from separating the filters, and looks even better when the right-hand filter is separated from the engine part molded next to it. Thanks for watching this little how-to. It's just a simple way of using the stock kit parts and improving the appearance with the added bonus of making touch-up painting of the finished engine that much easier.